There was a chance we would be coming on the air tonight reporting the deaths of all 11 souls on board two aircraft that collided in midair this weekend. But instead, all on board survived, thanks in large part to the fact that they were all skydivers and were prepared to jump and knew how. And many of them were recording video of the moment and their safe return to Earth. NBC's Ann Thompson has our exclusive look tonight. The last jump of the day for nine skydivers and two pilots nearly became the last flight of their lives. Two planes and people out of control over Superior, Wisconsin, Saturday evening. One plane breaking up in fiery debris. What looks to be certain disaster miraculously was not. Watch it again from a different angle and you can see what happens. In this video licensed by NBC News, you see the divers in the second plane get out on the step preparing to jump. That plane appears to fly right on top of the first plane. There's a fireball. And now divers from both planes, instead of flying in a planned formation, find themselves in a terrifying plummet. Not only are they falling from 12,000 feet at 125 miles per hour, so are the burning parts of the first plane. All the divers open their chutes and land safely. The pilot of the first plane gets out alive too, using his emergency parachute. And then there's this. Come on, Blake, you got it. Come on. Blake Whedon lands the second plane at the airport, even though there's damage to the propeller and the wing. The jumpers and the pilots, all veterans of the sky, know how close they came. Very lucky, very, very lucky. Yeah, anytime two planes collide in the air, uh, I mean, it's, it's a potential disaster for everybody involved. So we were all very, very lucky here. After pursuing thrills in the air, tonight for these 11 lucky people, the greatest thrill is just being alive. Ann Thompson, NBC News, New York.